What's up everybody, Tyler Caton here with Weld.com and I'm sure you're already curious what's inside the box. Well, we have a product here sent to us by TIG Brush, their TBE 700 Electro Polisher. Now, if you have no idea what that is, well, this will be a pretty sweet video for you. But if you ever have done any kind of stainless work in any kind of sanitary field, I'm sure you have used one of these. And why is it good on stainless welds? Well, it's great for brushing out that uh, oxide layer, you know, those pretty colors that form. What's the reason why you would wanna get rid of that nice pretty color? Well, it's an oxide layer and it's actually a contaminant and it can lead to carbon precipitation buildup and it could damage the product or cause a failure. Let's get to this unboxing, run some welds and test it out. All right, so it's packed pretty well. All right. The actual unit itself. I'm loving this purple color. Just have our instruction manual and probably warranty information. Got some bottles here. Here's our actual cleaning fluid. Our neutralizer, for neutralizing the acid. And it looks like they even sent us some PPE, some goggles, masks. Here's our ground cable, the actual brush itself, and pack consumables for the tips, and power cable. Just plug a power cable in, we have an on and off switch. Again, like I said, I love the simplicity. Just tells you how to set it up. Ground clamp, and then just, just our gun. Now for setting up our gun, really simple. As you're using it, you'll be screwing the back cap to raise the brush, but for any reason you have to just change it, max out your uh, back screw cap all the way to the top and you'll be able to pull the brush out and pop a brand new one right in and then as your brush gets consumed a little bit you can adjust here and just bring that out so you don't have to cut anything you don't have to trim anything like you do with some of the other uh, electro polishers out there on the market real ease and got a nice ergonomic grip here so it's gonna be super comfortable to use. So what I'll be welding today is a 304 stainless steel 16 gauge box enclosure. And I'm gonna be using my typical setup and settings that I normally would to weld this part inside the shop. So I'll be using a number 15 cup for plenty of gas coverage to mitigate any kind of oxide layers. I'm using a 16th tungsten. That way I can mitigate, you know, the size of my arc cone and keep a little bit tight of a weld on the outside corner joint. Then I'll be using 308L 045 wire. Since we're doing 16 gauge, the 045 wire is thinner than our base material and will melt quicker. Also, it's quicker than our travel speed and heat input into the part itself. Now for our settings, I'll be on 55 amps. We'll be on pulse, 33 pulses a second, 50% background and then 50% peak. If you need to sit there and polish every single one of those welds on all those parts, it's important to have a really high duty cycle and the TBE 700 has a 100% duty cycle and it has its own self-cooling technology and eliminates unnecessary downtime. Now there are some key benefits to using the propel torch like I am right here. You do get way more precise brush control with it, especially since it's ergonomically designed and kind of in the shape of like, you know, one of the TIG guns or anything that's kind of similar to that, that's really comfortable hold and use. You get longer brush life because you can just extend it or back it off with that back cap screw. And it does clean faster and longer than a lot of other products. And just like everything else that's gonna be high end with this unit, we do have heavy duty brass molded ground clamps. And as you know, quality ground clamps make a massive difference whenever you're gonna be running a current through something. <laughs> so uh, don't mind the uh, evil laughter there. I'm just gonna be cranking up my machine and taking off the pulse, putting it way past what you would ever need to weld this joint. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing some cooking, if you, if you know what I mean. And by that I mean uh, basically no stainless properties left in the material. And the purpose of that is even with a completely fried weld 
and it's gonna be pretty gross with the TBE 700 you'll still be able to get a lot of that contamination and fire material cleaned up pretty nicely to where it might be saved now as always wearing proper PPE I'm just gonna wear some rubber gloves to deal with the chemicals and neutralizer and as far as our neutralizer and our cleaning agent go, they're mild yet highly specialized analytical grade and NSF approved fluids. And if you're wondering why that is so important, analytical grade chemicals are the highest graded products in terms of purity and lack of contaminants. That means the TIG brush fluids provide it have a much lower risk of irritation to the eyes, skin, and airways for the user. So, you know, safety is definitely a huge plus, especially dealing with any kind of chemicals that could be harmful. So our TBE 700 is powered on now. We have it in standby mode. So we're gonna switch it over to our propel mode. You see there's even a nice little diagram there to show you that you're using the proper model in case you have two different heads. And then obviously we're gonna be on clean since we're gonna get rid of these oxide layers. Yikes, look how much uh cooking we did I think I kept it in the oven a little too long so um, if you do have something that's super over oxidized and we may have cooked out some of the chromium and other of the anti-corrosive properties in the stainless surface itself we should still be able to clean it up pretty nicely with the TBE 700 now as you can see it is gonna take a little bit more to get it done and do make sure you keep your brush wet because you don't want to leave any residual burn marks. Just dip it as you need to. And as far as our heat affected zone, we can swipe right over that and clean that up too and get a real nice finish on our stainless and keep everything nice and clean without having to do any repolishing or regrinding or refinishing on any kind of brush stainless materials. So here we have our eighth inch stainless piece that I welded. I was labeled here how I did each weld. Right here, I did some pulse. The center, I did no pulse. And then here, I went a little too slow. See that really dark oxide layer? That means I'm cooking the stainless pretty good and that's gonna definitely cause some carbon precipitation and overall be a pretty bad stainless weld. Right now, we am in standby mode, so it's not gonna make any kind of connection. So it's important to keep the brush wet that way you don't burn and mark. And like I said, we have the Propel brush here. So make sure you set it to that. So first we'll just come here and we're gonna knock this out here. And there's some really awesome advantages to using the Propel. It's a little more ergonomic. It's a little more comfortable to hold. So instantly takes out that color. You're gonna have increased power at point of contact and it's gonna clean faster and longer. So it's really gonna save you on wear and tear on your consumables. You wanna go real nice and light. You don't need to put any pressure. Put it back into standby mode so you can safely set your brush down. Then we'll neutralize our acid. I'll typically I keep also some DI water uh, nearby to put on it as well. But even with a super over oxidized weld, look at that. Now how quick can do a single swipe? Let's see how well it works. For a TIG weld, it's gonna be approximately 30 seconds per meter of weld, or two meters of weld a minute. So this thing's got some serious speed to it. And look at that, I didn't hit the heat affected zone at all, I didn't hit the top and bottom, but look how much that took out. That gives us such a wide cleaning area, and look how clean our weld is. There is no oxide layer on that at all. And that's gonna save us time that I don't have to grind this weld away or do anything else to prepare it for being the final product. So outside of just our ability to clean with different brush heads and different setups, you can polish and engrave and you can even print other identifying marks on the stainless steel or logos. It's pretty all in one machine if you ask me. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video on TIG Brush's TVE 700. So all in all, my final thoughts are, I'm extremely impressed with this. It's the best electro polisher I've ever used. And just like upgrades, like the Propel brush is massive, especially saving on consumables and any kind of accuracy and stuff like that when you just want to brush across. 
makes a massive difference in having high quality stuff because high quality products have high quality outcomes for your work. And if you know me, you know that I am pretty bougie and I like high end stuff. And I would use this in the shop and I would take it on the road with me, especially since it's so lightweight. Guys, go check them out. If you guys wanna see any other videos, comment down below. If you wanna see exclusive stuff and be where all the welders are hanging out, come over to the Weld app. There, you'll be able to post content, interact with welders from all around the world. You'll get exclusive content on the premium and educational resources that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Until next time.